Here we see a cast iron drain line that's got a blockage inside of it. As we push through the blockage with the sewer camera, we're able to see the rest of the condition of the sewer line. After a quick flush of the sewer line, we get to see the structure of the pipe. Now here we get to see a busted section of pipe. We have to clear the texture of the sewer line and get it nice and smooth again. So we use this tool that has carbide teeth on it to whip around and clean up that cast iron pipe. This is that tool whipping around violently, descaling the cast iron pipe. Look how the scale gets knocked off the pipe, basically just aerosolizes in the dust. Check out how clean the old cast iron pipe is. It's shiny on the inside now with very little texture. We can even see a crack in the pipe that wasn't exposed before. Now with the old pipe descaled, we see where it becomes nice and smooth and we also see all the discrepancies in the pipe, like here. It's busted and we can actually see the dirt outside of the pipe. See a very large crack on the right side. We see a big crack on the bottom of the pipe. Towards the left, where it has collapsed. At this point, we're starting the lining process and you can see how the material gets injected into the pipe. We're using a special tube because the, there are certain sections of the cast iron pipe that are missing. This tube will act like the host pipe instead of the old pipe so that the liner will take the shape of the tube. With the tube in place, now we shoot the epoxy lining material through the tube. Now this lining material will take the shape of the tube. Now for the last step of the process, we'll shoot a calibration tube, a third tube, inside of the lining material. This will have 180 degrees hot water recirculating through it for the next two hours to harden up that epoxy liner. Once the liner has been cured, we pull the equipment away from this now pipe. And we can see that it is rock hard by knocking on it. And just for film purposes, we take a little hammer to it to show you how hard it is. Once we cut off the excess material, we really get a good feel for the finished product. Now you can see what CIPP cured in place pipe really looks like. And now we run the sewer camera to inspect the finished product.